Welcome to the Science of Clock Change, a video series by Save Standard Time to explain how clock time affects our lives. This series was made possible with generous funding from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Foundation. Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson, and I'm a professor of neurology and a sleep medicine specialist. In this video, we will discuss a common misconception that permanent daylight savings time would improve our mental health by increasing our exposure to sunlight. People associate daylight saving time with better mood for three reasons. First, they believe daylight saving time gives us longer hours of sunlight. Second, they associate daylight saving time with sunlight exposure after a long day indoors. Third, they link daylight saving time with summer, a time of increased outdoor play. While light at the end of the day makes us feel good due to direct signaling from our eyes to parts of our brain that impact mood, daylight savings time does not lead to longer hours of sunlight. I have asked Vidya Krishnan, a sleep medicine specialist at Case Western Reserve University to tell us more about how light affects our mental health. So Vidya, thank you for joining us today. Can you tell us how does light affect our mental health? Thanks, Karen. I think light exposure, circadian rhythms, and our mental health disorders, they're so intrinsically linked. The time of day that we're exposed to light is so important that, to affect our circadian rhythm, which not only controls our sleep cycle, but also controls when our body and brain releases chemicals that affects our mood and emotional reactions circadian rhythm and sleep disorders are intrinsically linked to mental health disorders like depression, anxiety, bipolar disease, schizophrenia, attention deficit disorder. To some extent, this is because of genes that are related to those mental health disorders, but are also related to the control of our circadian rhythm. So light at the right time of day is really important for maintaining a good, healthy mental health. It's the timing of light that's most important to affect our circadian rhythm, our mood, our emotions. And in fact, light therapy can also be used to treat mental health disorders. For example, in seasonal affective disorder, light therapy is prescribed in the morning to actually help with symptoms and shift the circadian rhythm earlier, which is the opposite effect of daylight saving time. Changes in the timing of light can cause sleep deprivation and circadian rhythm disruption, which are both linked to mental health disorders. Daylight saving time forces us to wake at an earlier clock time on work and school days versus free days, which is an example of disrupted circadian rhythm that we call social jet lag. Social jet lag increases the risk of anxiety, depression, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, substance abuse, and suicide. Daylight saving time forces us to wake an extra hour early for work or school, often depriving us of crucial morning sunlight. With our current schedule of seasonal daylight saving time, most Americans have to wake before sunrise in March, after we spring forward, and again in October before we fall back. If the United States were to adopt permanent daylight saving time, most states would see sunrise delayed past 8 a.m. for three to six months. The latest sunrise in most states would get pushed past 8.45 a.m. Millions of Americans would not only be forced to wake in the dark, but also be forced to start work and school without any morning sunlight. With most school and workdays starting at 8 a.m., that's a lot of dark mornings for a lot of people. Permanent daylight saving time would not protect sunshine or make winter feel like summer. It would darken mornings and force early awakening. Some may still have a gut feeling that evening light is better for mood. In addition to indirect studies, we have real world experience in permanent daylight savings time. In Russia, the following three conditions were tried. Seasonal daylight saving time before 2011, permanent daylight saving time from 2011 to 2014, and permanent standard time after 2014. Rates of seasonal affective disorder or winter depression were highest during permanent daylight saving time and lowest during permanent standard time. Even seasonal daylight saving time had a higher risk of winter depression than permanent standard time. We have also learned from the Start School Later movement, which advocates for middle and high schools to start no earlier than 8.30 a.m. 
Schools that delayed their start time have shown that even small improvements in sleep and circadian alignment can have measurable mental health benefits. Later school start times result in more sleep and better mood with lower rates of depression, anxiety, worrying, and feelings of hopelessness and even reduced risks of suicide. To maintain these benefits under permanent daylight saving time, schools would have to start after 9.30 a.m. Enacting permanent standard time would benefit all districts, even those that maintain an earlier start time. In this video, we learned how light, sleep, and circadian rhythms are closely linked to mental health disorders. Morning light improves mood, while evening light can be harmful. Permanent daylight saving time has the highest rates of winter depression, suggesting that it's even worse for mental health than the status quo of seasonal clock change. Permanent standard time is best for mental health. To learn more about how to harness the full power of the sun after watching this video series, visit savestandardtime.com. Advocate by texting XST to 50409 to tell your legislators to end clock change now with permanent standard time.